so I just did Cyrus makeup. Um, if the video's up before this one, I will link it down below. And now I'm going to do her hair. And I'm going to curl it the way you guys have been requesting from that one vlog a long time ago. The How Not to Tie a Sorry vlog. Since um, she dyed her hair back to black now. So we can finally do that. And I'm just going to get into it. It's really simple. By the way, I'm like crouching down right now because the camera is like zoomed in on her. So anyways, I just want to explain to you guys that um, it's really easy to do, but you will need hair extensions. I'm going to be using the Bombay hair extensions and the Bombay hair curling wand. Yep, that's the curling wand. And my extensions are right behind me. Otherwise, you won't get the same effect unless you use um, hair extensions. And then do you want to show which hairspray we're using? We're using the Tresemme hairspray. Hold it a little bit back. It's the one with the blue and it says number five on it. I'm also going to be using this um, Joyco finishing spray, the firm hold one, but I'm going to use it at the end. Um, this hairspray is really strong, so you don't want to like use it in your hair before you're done your hair because it's going to be really hard to style then. So this is what I'm going to use in the front to show you guys how to do that little like swoop thing because that's what was mostly requested about that video. So curling the hair, you can curl it any way, any direction. Really the most important part is just teasing up the root and then how to do the front. Um, and then also I got a lot of questions asking how to get rid of frizz. So for frizz we're going to be using the, what is this, the Joyco glossing polish I just call it smoothing gel and I use this on I only use it really on the front of your hair just to get rid of like little baby hairs around this area but anyways let's get into it so I've already sectioned her hair just because I'm going to be putting in hair extensions so if you're not putting in hair extensions you would just go in and curl your hair but you would leave like the front section you would do this part last so I already um parted her hair on the side where she's going to part it as well. But anyways, let's put her hair extensions in. And um, if you guys don't know how to put hair extensions in, there's so many videos on YouTube that you can just search how to put in hair extensions and then watch those. So I would go watch that first if you don't know how to put your hair extensions in. But I'm quickly just going to put in all my hair extensions and then I will show you guys how I'm going to curl the hair. in how many four pieces I put in four pieces of hair extensions I used um, two three clips and two of the two clips so I'm gonna start curling now but you're gonna work in sections you're gonna start from the bottom and work your way up top so I already have some pinned up here but I'm just gonna work with the part where I put in the extensions So just sectioning her hair and pinning the rest away because you don't want it to get in your way. Okay, so you're going to take about an inch or an inch and a half sections and you're just going to like wrap around your curling wand. If you're using a curling iron, you can use that. Some people like to do, um, some people like to curl their hair with a hair straightener. You can use that. And there really isn't like a right or wrong way in, to curling your hair. You can either curl all the hair in one direction or you can do it in different directions. And that's all up to you guys. So I'm just going to go through and work my way up as I section and curl all her hair. I'm going to speed this part up because it's going to take a while. But right now the curls look like they're a little tight. But don't worry because I do go in with my fingers and my hands and kind of like brush it out and stuff. And yeah, feel free to use hairspray. I'm just using the Trust Me one. You can use whatever hairspray you want. And there you go. So I'm just going to let that hang and I'm going to take out another section and do this all the way to the top. And then I'll show you guys what I do once I get to the top of the head. So as you guys can see, after I release the curl from the curling wand, I kind of just let it bounce around in my hand. Just kind of let it cool down before I let it hang. It helps the curls last a little bit longer.
into the crown of her head. I'm just gonna start teasing at the root before I curl. So I'm just gonna be using one of these kind of teasing brushes. This is really gonna give her a lot of volume and lift at the root. And then I'm just gonna give that a spray. See that lift? That's when you know you did a good teasing job when the hair just like stands up like that. So then I'm gonna go in and just curl that strand. There you go. So you're going to do that, the whole crown section of the hair, like all of this. I'm going to go and tease and I'll show you guys once more. Just teasing at the root. Volume galore. Check that out. Look, Sarah. Oh, you can't see it actually, but like, see, like, it looks awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> not gonna have like the big volume. Still gonna have volume, but this is the side that you guys are interested in seeing. So I'm just gonna unclip this, and same as how I did the back, just gonna work section by section, starting at the bottom. So I'm just gonna take a section from here, and clip away this one. And you're going to tease this one at the root as well. Um, and then you're gonna spray the hair at the root. And then I like to like mold right where I sprayed with my hand, like kind of gather it together. It helps like the sideburns and the little like flyaways, everything kind of like stick in this area. That's what I'm talking about, volume. <laughs> and then you're just gonna curl it like you did the rest of the hair. brush that into like the rest of her hair. I'll show you guys what I mean. Cause you want everything to like mix in and look like it's together. I'm just gonna brush the ends too because I want them a little bit more bouncy and thicker. So anyways, let's finish that side and then I'll style her hair. Same thing over here, starting at the bottom, working your way up. Okay, 
So with these pieces of hair is when you're gonna start like forming your little swooping bit. You can turn your head to the side. I'm just gonna spin you. As you guys can see, we're already getting some of that big volume and all you get it from is just teasing at the root and spraying. So I'm gonna go and do the next section. really packing the tees right at the root because you really want that hair to stand up. Shield your face. Spraying the root. And then you go in and just curl it. gonna let that one go on top of her head it'll cool down right there while that one's cooling I'm gonna do this section and this is probably the last section I could this I could divide this in two but I think I'm gonna leave it as one put your head down a bit actually no up, up, up. that's good When you're teasing, you don't want it to look messy. So that's why I keep going through it with a brush. Like on the outside, this part, you don't want this part to look like all bushy and like look like it's teased. You don't, you want it nice and smooth. You only want it to be teased on this side, which no one's gonna see. Shield your face. Let me know if I'm too close to your scalp. Do you feel any burning? Okay. You don't want to burn the person whose hair you're doing because <laughs> then they're never going to come back to you to get their hair done. And I'm just going to slide that off, let that hang out on the top of her head as well. So this one's probably cooled down a bit. And the thing when you're doing hair is really just being creative and using your hands to mold it. I'll show you guys what I mean. So as you see, I'm just like molding these pieces this way. And since the end of the strand is going inwards, but I want it to go outwards, so I'm just gonna go back with the curling wand and just change the direction of the curl. I'm just curling like half of it, going backwards away from her face. And then this one is still a little bit warm. Just gonna brush the end of it. I'm gonna turn you back this way. And even with this one, I'm probably gonna have to curl the end of it away from her face. I'm just gonna give this one a little brush. of this going outwards okay and then Sarah has a lot of baby hair so I'm just gonna pull them back close your eyes I'm just gonna spray the little baby hairs back and don't be afraid to like get in there and use your hands. Close your eyes. Just 
gonna do the same on this side. All right, so now I'm gonna face Sarah to the front. And this is when you can really like run your fingers through her hair or brush it out. But I was kind of doing that as I curled. Like I would go in with my brush and kind of brush. You guys probably saw me doing that. So I'm gonna bring some of her hair to the front. So my other camera died. This always happens to me right when I'm almost done filming. But anyways, as I was saying, I just brought some of her hair to the front. You can run your fingers through it if you want it a little bit thicker. I actually like how this looks, like some of it towards the back, like on the side. But I'll just show you guys what it looks like if you bring it all to the front. It's really long. <laughs> but yeah. I like it. I like this section to the back. Don't mind Sarah's makeup stain. <laughs> fingers through it slightly I don't really like that like messy hair look when people run their fingers through it all and then it like totally ruins like I like curls where you can like see the formation of the curls you know yeah got the spray she's prepared I once sprayed her in the face so now she knows to cover her face every time right Sarah yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyways yeah this is Sarah's hair I'm just gonna spin her around Okay, I'll show you guys what it looks like if you were all to wear it to the back. Keep spinning. <laughs> Yay for spinny chairs. And there you guys go, the finished look. It was highly requested. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And really it's super easy once you just start trying it on yourself. And this part literally is just teasing, spraying at the root, and then curling, and then just Going like this with your hand a bunch of times. It's really easy, trust me. Do you like your hair? Yes! <laughs> That's been her thing. Yes! If you've seen the vlog before this, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yay! Love it. Okay, let's take some pictures now. Bye!